Returning to one of my favorites. Yeah, this is the campaign mode I started a, a long time ago and then forgot about. <laughs> Currently, the only mission I have in uh, the queue is to put something in orbit. Uh, and so, the problem then becomes, uh, how exactly would I do that? And currently the plan is... Uh, uh, and more thrusters. Something like this would work very well. <laughs> uh, I just had an idea. Hmm. Probably not a great idea. <laughs> uh, these six outer would be the first, and then the second is here, and then the third for adjustments. Ah, mm. uh, the problem with this though, this probe is uh, the lowest quality probe possible. It should only really be used when necessary. Mm. I feel like this is almost the minimum to get into space. well bring some of these. I hope they don't burn in re <laughs> burn up on re-entry. Although I am expecting them to. In fact, if that's the case. I think this container is too heavy. Uh, I'm going to need to affix these to the ceiling now. Getting very cramped in that compartment. Not going to bother bringing this thing because it's huge. We just don't have the technology to do that well yet. Yeah, I feel like that's everything. Might as well use that one. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Doesn't the heat shield have a built-in capability to jettison what's below it? Hmm. <laughs> no, that's not the correct uh, switch. Where is it? Hmm. Or 
Or do I even have that ability yet? Eh, never mind then. Hmm. I expected this to be a problem at some point. So hold on. Uh, first need to remember the key bindings. Uh, I have barely enough money to do that. So how many parts is this? Uh, 40. You need to get rid of a lot of parts. You could probably get rid of these. And these. Uh, and that's back down to acceptable levels. And but now it's very unaerodynamic. Uh, I don't feel like this is going to work, but I'm going to try anyway. Here at least. Ah, uh, yes. I believe this is the key here. Actually, it looks like this is enough to get all the way into space. And then, once in space, or high atmosphere, either one, I can use the uh, built-in reaction wheel to turn it and prepare for circularizing which in this uh, craft is going to be a problem This is going to be a nightmare to do. Fortunately, the higher the apoapsis is, the easier it will be to bring up the periapsis. And ideally, you would be pointing uh, directly at the theoretical horizontal horizon. should be just enough fuel left in the liquid fuel thruster to <coughs> form an orbit. And then after that we can immediately degrade the orbit. But actually while we're here... Mm, um, small amount of science, I'll take it. Yeah, no science. Ah, uh, none of that either. I must have been at this altitude before. Yeah, quick saving. And warping to apoapsis. Yes, it should be more than enough, actually. Or at least it appears so. Don't need to bring it very high above the atmosphere, just above 70,000 meters. And there, we have just enough fuel to deorbit uh, once that becomes necessary. Mm, still in low space, so I doubt we'll get any science at this altitude. Uh, but the mission uh, is, uh, in fact, complete. So, uh, that's good. A lot more money now, as we can see, in science and reputation. Uh, what else of note? 
nothing in that case. The best place to deorbit is at the apoapsis, so I can do a retro burn right here, and then the atmosphere will absorb the, the rest of the orbital energy once we get caught in it at the periapsis. Uh, just below 40,000 meters should be fine. And I think that's cutting into the medium atmosphere, the mid atmosphere. Yeah. And now I'm going to control the aircraft pointing retrograde since the pilot isn't experienced enough to be able to do that on their own. <laughs> hmm. This poor lighting might make it difficult though. Already entering the atmosphere right now, and it is affecting the orbit, especially at the apoapsis, <laughs> very rapidly, even in the high atmosphere. In reality, there is no hard edge to any atmosphere, it's more of like a a uh, normal distribution or something similar. Uh, yes. So I don't necessarily need to use the heat shield right now. We already have something that's like a heat shield and we don't have... we haven't spent all the fuel from it yet. Although, the increased mass might actually make it more difficult to slow down. I feel like we'll land somewhere around there, perhaps slightly further than that. Actually, if I point it horizontal, you'll have more drag. <laughs> Thinking logically. I don't really want to land in the ocean. Uh, and at this point, I'm going to want to start considering pointing back the other way so that we don't uh, break apart in the atmosphere. There. Finally, uh, officially deorbited. Uh, 
traveling much further than I thought. <laughs> Perhaps if I try pointing it like this, it will have downward lift. And cut deeper into the atmosphere. Which would actually be more effective with real wings. Difficult to uh, fight against the current of the atmosphere now, which is a good sign. Uh, we're definitely landing in the ocean, though. That was the last land for a quadrant of the planet. <laughs> but I think this technique is working. very low altitude we want to reduce our velocity rapidly much more rapidly than before now that's not working need to be a, below a certain velocity until we can uh, activate the parachutes usually it's best to activate them right around yeah, 2,000 meters, or three, either one is fine. Uh-oh. <laughs> survive did survive and we can do science right here From here, we can just recover. Oh, I forgot something, the crew report. Yeah. Not really necessary though. It should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Now what can we do in here now? any one of these things mm, but none of those things uh, this has the small reaction wheel which is almost useless for most cases uh, some of the aviation which is I feel mostly useful I mean useless uh, these things well, this is the only real thing that you're looking for in this entire package. And in here, these things are actually practical. So that's the next one. Mm. And... Yeah, uh, this part limit is actually very uh, disruptive. So I'll look at that in a, in a moment. And that's the first thing I'm going to want to fix. What else do we have in here? Hmm. 
Ah, this one is the logical next step. We just need to get to the moon. Which, at this point, should actually be not that difficult. Uh, I feel like this time we're going to want more stages also. And if we're going to the moon, we'll need to bring at least one container and at least one of these also. So that's a lot of mass. Uh, push all of that mass, ideally we would have a lot more thrust than just one of these. Oh yeah, these things. We're opening the extended information. Looking at the specific impulse. Now these are not significantly uh, inefficient for their power. And on top of just that, uh, the way they work, we can use a lot of them, which means we can use a lot of fuel. The only problem with that is we need larger lower stages now, which was actually going to be the case anyway because of these two things. Uh, I'm not sure all this fuel is really necessary though. Uh, more like this much. I'm not sure if it's worth it to do that, but I'll do it anyway. I'm going to want to eventually land on the moon, so I'll probably need something like this. Yeah, that looks fine. And then, here is where we want the lower stages to couple. I feel like it's, it would be a better idea to have all the lower stages be solid fuel. There. Yes. <laughs> Uh, this uh, staging is all backwards. Mm, that's better. So, last time this was enough to launch that smaller uh, capsule uh, into almost orbit. Uh, for this, it probably won't even be enough to get it into that uh, area. Uh, so. With that being potentially the case, actually there's no way to tell until we try, and I don't want to add anything more onto this as it is. It's, all, it's already a nightmare, and we don't have the ability to put on any struts right now. Mm, I hope it doesn't, uh... <laughs> 
vibrate to death. Uh, oscillations, they're quite dangerous. Forgot something. Hold on. <laughs> uh, in, in here, these. So, uh, and additionally, uh, to have one of these right uh, here right there <laughs> this will practically be a temporary moon base mm. eventually we could attach smaller probe controllers to these uh, along with their own fuel and thrusters, and just send these back as and drop pods. Uh, but we're nowhere near that technology level yet. Uh, wait a second. We don't have any kind of electric uh, generation capabilities. The best we can do right now is bring batteries. Uh, that's a problem. That means this can't be permanent. In fact, we can't even expand on it since we don't even have mm, docking uh, couplers. Yeah. Yeah, this mission is going to be difficult. Now the most important thing is to just get up and out of the atmosphere and the lower gravitational field. Finally, the pilot is skilled enough to know how to point it towards apoapsis or, uh, I mean, prograde or retrograde. Ah uh, yes, this is uh, uh, sufficiently powerful. However, I feel consumption rate.
way it doesn't look good. This is enough, actually. Or if it is, it's only very barely enough. No, that is definitely not enough. We need more stages. Or... Hmm, secondarily, what if... These are technically more efficient, but also cost more. Uh, I don't feel like this is going to end well, but it's the <laughs> sadly the most logical choice. I'll just add more solid fuel thrusters. And yet again, no struts. Unfortunately, it does appear to be holding. Technically, if I activate the next thruster higher up later on, it will be more efficient in the vacuum. This is enough yet. Mm, that one solid in the fuel thrust. <laughs> Still very not good. In fact, that's only slightly better than last time. So this is definitely not the correct approach, I'm sensing. Hmm. Eh, this might fix the problem.
and this is all very not good. I'm going to need to completely revise the bottom stage, if not also the top stage. Mm, I feel like this much mass so uh, high up is causing problems. feels more rational. This thing I forgot about. And a much higher efficiency. Hmm. Yeah, it's not for this craft though. Decouplers there. Mm. Not sure this is going to work. expensive than the last model. That should be better. Yeah, that is if... Uh, look at how loose those are. Now that's how you create accidental vectoring uh, solid fuel thrusters. This also has a potential to work, and also a potential to not work. Oh wait, the staging. <laughs> oh, welcome to the design process. <laughs> Yeah, this is actually what does work. So this is where we have a problem. Uh, 
it's not aerodynamic. <laughs> so, solution, only fire when facing upwards. Uh, I'd be surprised if you could get to the moon in something like this. And more than slightly impressed. Just need to get out of the atmosphere so that it's not affecting us anymore. Because that's the problem. There. Now we should... Now rotation should decelerate. And without that part, <laughs> turning us into uh, like a throwing knife or something. <laughs> uh, uh, I think this is correct orientation. I don't think we're actually going to get to the moon anytime soon, the more that I look at this. In fact, we might just need to not bring this thing, or most of these either. I think I'll save launching for the moon for another day because this is getting ridiculous.